On July 1st, 2021, the first eruption at the Tall Volcano in the Philippines in 18 months occurred. This large phreatic explosion occurred due to the interaction of rising magma with groundwater, which caused the water to flash to steam and explode. Since then, at least 20 similar explosions have occurred, of which the vast majority were an order of magnitude smaller than witnessed on July 1st. Since the most recent explosion occurred only yesterday, the current eruptive sequence at Tall is far from over. This video will discuss what is expected to occur in the next few weeks and summarize the eruption so far. Before I begin, I must remind people to not travel to the volcanic island for any reason or to any other point within the currently designated 7km radius exclusion zone. The eruption which began on July 1st was preceded by a strong swarm of earthquakes which had been ongoing for many months since at least April 8th. These earthquakes were caused by the movement of magma beneath the volcano. The unusually large number of recorded earthquakes indicates an associated large body of magma within the subsurface. As this magma got shallower and shallower, it began to heat the crater lake on the volcanic island to blistering temperatures of over 72 degrees Celsius. Additionally, from this crater lake emerged a large volume of sulfur dioxide gas which escaped from shallow magma. On at least 21 different occasions, some lava emerged into the bottom of the lake through a vent, creating a volcanic explosion and associated series of pyroclastic flows. While these phreatomagmatic explosions have intermittently occurred in bursts of activity, the levels of emitted sulfur dioxide have fluctuated over a wide range of levels, which are still considered to be quite high. As an example, on July 4th, the highest amount of this gas ever recorded at the volcano was documented, indicating a larger quantity of shallow magma than in any other recent eruption. For some additional context, during the January 2020 eruption of Tall, sulfur dioxide levels never rose above 4,400 tons per day, which is comparable to the amount of gas measured yesterday. Even if Tall does not produce any more eruptions, the current exclusion zone is warranted due to the dangerous concentrations of this gas. Sulfur dioxide is heavier than air, so it pools in low points. Only two parts per million of this gas is needed over long durations to be considered unhealthy. At 100 parts per million or higher, this is immediately dangerous to human health. Numerous areas around the volcano currently contain the latter of these two concentrations. Symptoms of overexposure to this gas include the smell of burnt matches, irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat, and trouble breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, please travel further away from the volcano. With this being said, we are not truly sure what will happen next at Tall as the volcano has not behaved like what would be expected from previous eruptions. The long-term model suggests that a large explosive eruption will occur, while the short-term model says that small explosions will continue before eventually petering out. I am still leaning towards the long-term model as it would be logical for a large amount of magma to cause a big eruption. Such a large eruption would likely be preceded by an increased type of earthquake called a volcanic tremor along with the evaporation of the crater lake. Another potential warning sign would be a series of ever-increasingly shallow earthquakes hinting at the movement of a new batch of magma towards the surface. If it reached the surface, a highly explosive eruption with large pyroclastic flows would be guaranteed. Even if this eruption was to end tomorrow, I need to know that Tall has entered a new period of activity. Tall seems to produce sequences of eruptions in a relatively short time span before becoming dormant for a period of several decades, typically 50 years. Examples include 1873 to 1878, 1903 to 1911, 1965 to 1977, and 2020 to the present. Thus, more eruptions will occur from Tall in the next decade. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.